Welcome back to Purple Color Life. In today's video, we're taking the Ford Ranger down to the homestead where we'll use the Ford 8N tractor and a finish mower to do some mowing. So probably not today, but in a future video, we'll mow this whole, we we'll either mow the five section, the five acre section close to us, or the whole 10 acre section with the Ford tractor, just to show you what it looks like to finish mow with the Ford tractor. But it's kind of a preview to that. All this section up here, we're gonna mow today with the Ford 8N and the King Cutter finish mower. You can see that the homestead here has quite a big yard to mow, not even counting the front fields. Those front fields used to be hay fields, now they're just big yard. And this section up here by the homestead house, this all gets mowed. So right here is the King Cutter 60 inch finished mower. We put it on the back of the Ford 8N tractor. First thing we'll do is slide this out so that we can get some access to it. It stores nicely under the stairs here, but it's difficult to get in there with the tractor. So here we can get to it a little bit better. Next step is to either bring the tractor closer to the mower or the mower closer to the tractor. Now if I remember correctly, it's been a few years since I've done this. I think I like to connect the PTO first. Yep. There we go. Pin was just a little stuck. Now we can connect the arms. Sway bars. I have the tractor in neutral so I can just coast the head when I need to. So if you're new to Ford 8 and tractors, I've got a couple other videos to recommend to you. We've got a start, how to start and operate video. I'll put a link to that up above. And we've got a how to brush hog video. A lot of what we mentioned in the how to brush hog video also applies to how to finish mow. In the brush hog video, I did not show connecting the brush hog. That procedure of connecting the brush hog or the finish mower are very similar. This is the fuel tank. We have a level stick. We've got a little line on it here. We want the fuel to be above that line whenever we're running the tractor. So we're gonna add some ethanol free gasoline to the tractor. Make sure you put the cap back on. Close the hood. 
Look at that barn spider. He looks like a mean one. In a recent video, I'll put a link to up above, I mentioned the importance of front ballast. And with something like the finish mower on the back, this is a prime example of when you want some front ballast, keep these front wheels on the ground. All that weight on the back, as long as it's on the ground, isn't too bad. But if you've got the mower lifted up and you start to go up an incline, that's weight behind the rear axle of the tractor that can cause the front end to lift up off the ground. So I always encourage you to use front ballast and that can come in one of a number of different ways. Watch that video up above to learn more about front ballast. I mentioned in that how to brush hog with an 8N video that the rear implement will only lift when the PTO is turned on. So for this Ford tractor, this 8N, that means you've got to turn the PTO on to lift the implement when the PTO on is on the blades are turning you got to be really cautious even when i was pulling it out of the barn i made sure that there weren't any cats or anything underneath the mower because it would be on the ground sitting when i turned the pto on it would start spinning those blades before it ever started lifting up the deck i'll show you what i mean let's go ahead and lower the, the mower down there it's on the ground after i start the mower you'll see i can lift the height control of the three-point hitch it won't move until I turn the PTO on then it'll lift but it'll also be turning the blades so no lift without the PTO turn the PTO on using that lever the blades will turn and it'll lift So you can see the importance of understanding that, that these blades will be turning anytime you want to lift this mower deck. And that PTO control lever is on my left hand side. Again, you'll find that in the video about how to start and operate the 8N, but then also in the video about how to use the brush hog with the 8N. Now you can see here, the front of the deck's a little bit higher than the back of the deck when it's lifted. Now I could correct that by adjusting the top link as you turn it, you can see here, I'm making the back of the deck just as high as the front. We're gonna leave it right about there. I actually like the front to lift a little bit higher than the back, but when it's on the ground, it rides on these dolly wheels. The height adjustment of this finish mower is actually these spacers. You can either move them above like we have here or below. If you put them below the arm, your deck would sit higher. If you put them above the arm like we have them, your deck sits lower to the ground. This king cutter mower is actually how I mowed the lawn at my house uh, for probably five to 10 years. I used it on the back of my Ford 2N tractor, very similar to this 8N tractor. But this is how I mowed the lawn. Uh, it mows a nice wide swath at a time. Now that I have the zero turn though, I know how much faster the zero turn is. All right, that's enough talking. It's time to get to work. You guys can watch as we mow here. And just a note, if you're not already subscribed to Purple Color Life, we'd really appreciate if you would consider clicking that subscribe button and the bell to get notified when we put out new videos. And if you like videos about tractors and rural living and firewood and chainsaws and log splitters, make sure you click that like button and share the video with someone you know who might also enjoy this type of content. Let's get mowing on the Ford 8N.
Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video of mowing with the Ford 8N tractor and the five foot king cutter finish mower on the three point hitch. I always enjoy seat time on this old Ford 8N tractor. It may not mow as fast as my zero turn, but it's still an enjoyable ride thinking about the history of this machine. Now for more information about this particular 8N tractor that's been in our family its entire life since 1948, watch one of those other videos that I'll link to up above about the how to start and operate about this particular Ford 8N tractor. Now I've got to do some more mowing. I've got a lot more mowing to do actually, but it's only 7.40 and it's starting to get dark out here. Jennifer was telling me today that today is the last day that sunset is after eight o'clock at night until after the start of April next year. So it's just unbelievable to me how fast the year goes. I was so looking forward to those longer days and here now we've passed the point where it's gonna start getting dark before eight o'clock again. So. I dread these fall and winter days where it's dark just after I get home from work. We'll make the most of it today. I'm gonna go ahead and keep mowing this field as much as I can until it gets too dark to work. Thanks for watching. Leave those comments down below if you've got other tips or tricks for people who are learning to finish mow using an old farm tractor and a three-point finish mower. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll see you again the next time. We're gonna mow a little faster now. We'll try third gear. I have been mowing primarily in second gear. While mowing in third gear is possible on a nice flat piece of land like this, there's a little bit of an uphill incline, but not too bad. The finished mower on the Ford 8N actually makes a really nice cut out there. The width of the mower deck makes everything look nice and smooth, even though the ground is not smooth. So good job by the old Ford N and the King Cutter finished mower. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again the next time. Well, it looks like I was up here too long in the dark. We've got some company coming to check on me. Make sure everything's okay.